Hi, I'm Lindsay Dickinson and I teach fine art at Blackpool 6. I just wanted to give you um, an introduction to the course and show you some students' work. Please have a look at our Instagram pages and the links at the bottom. You'll find loads of students' work on here and you'll be able to see the massive variety of themes, uh, subjects and techniques and uh, skills and processes that they learn on the course. Please also have a look at our Pinterest pages. Students often go to these to look at new ideas, research new artists, and it helps them push their work ideas and develop it further. Now I wanted to show you some students work from actual sketchbooks so I'm just going to cross me off at the bottom so that you can see the work for what it is and see it as the whole screen so I'll just say goodbye from down there. Um, now I hope showing you this work will give you a really good idea of the processes students go through when they're studying a project. As you can see um, they begin their chosen research with initial drawings, photographs and then they begin to explore their ideas. You'll choose several artists to study on the course and you'll be informed by them and this will help your uh, research and develop your work, skills and techniques and processes in the, th in the style that you'd like. Please have a look through these slides um, to see the students work and how they've developed their own theme. You can pause these and go back through these in your own time. At the end, I've placed some individual development and final pieces just to show the variety of different themes our students do do. Now, over the course, you will conduct several different projects, um, but you get to choose your own theme. Now, this can be anything that really interests you. In the past, we've had students explore a range of themes, as you can see on here, such as portraits, landscapes, architecture, animals, nature, political themes, environmental themes and personal themes. Students have also linked their projects to other subjects such as English, history, sociology and psychology. Now as you can see this is a very practical course and in terms of skills and techniques and processes you will have the opportunity to enhance and develop a lot including drawing and painting, collage, mixed media, photography, digital techniques, 3D techniques and variety of painting, uh, printing techniques such as screen printing. In the second year, um, you will produce your final major project, which is worth 60%, and you will also study an exam project, which is like a coursework project, and this is worth 40% of your overall grade. Now, at the college, we have a lot of artists in, as you can see on this slide here. We also go out to see artists work and, and take a lot of trips. Um, we've had universities in, and we also go and visit universities, including UCLan, Cumbria, Leeds, and Liverpool, as you can see at the bottom. We've also done a lot of trips. Um, we have a lot of competition, enter a lot of competitions, um, employer links, and a lot of exhibitions, um, such as Liverpool World Museum, New Design London. We've took trips to New York, Morocco, Paris, Venice, and Edinburgh. Um, so you can see all those rows at the bottom. You may have seen our work about at Sainsbury's and in Booz Gallery in Lytham. Now, last year on the fine art course, 94% of our students um, achieved either an A star, an A or a B. Uh, fine art is taught in a purpose-built building called The Frame. It's a very exciting atmosphere, atmosphere to be in and to be part of. Um, and it's almost workshops are going on all the time. Different careers listed here. Um, please have a listen to our students talk about the course in the student videos. And some of them will talk about the different careers that they've also gone into as well. Now, the task for the new student day is to have a look down the lockdown 2020 exhibition like tag share and comment um, you'll see loads of students artwork on here and they are our current students who have just left in upper six um, that's everything from me i hope you've um, got a bit more information about the course and you can have a look through back through the images that are on these slides and i hope to see you in september